Hey everybody, welcome back. We got more Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 2, War of the Abyss, and here we are. Starting off Chapter 6, Elemental Glory. And here we are, we're in front of Magus' mother, Shara Lee, with the four elemental sisters. That is quite surprising, to say the least. I think Ariadne's betrayal marks a turning point in the war, don't you think? I do. This could very well be the moment that we have all been waiting for. So, do you still need us? Forgive my bluntness, Shara, but you haven't told us why you even released us in the first place. I think it's rather plain to see, is it not? I needed a great enough force to able... Uh, ugh. I needed a great enough force able to assist my son and his forces without revealing myself. You four represent the great elemental powers of this world. I can think of no other force able to do what I need done. Okay, so we're what? Your errand girls or something? Far more than that, Cylone. With the Abyss gaining ground against my son's allied forces, I need to introduce a new power that would level the playing field, so to speak. Alright, I think we get it now. Tell us what you need done and we'll do it. Scintilla's conversation with Ariadne confirmed both my greatest hope and my worst fears. We may not be able to do anything about the enemy's teleporters at the moment, but we can certainly assist with taking down the barrier. How can we do that? It would take literally hundreds of us to even make a dent in it. I want you four to travel to Rydus Tower, north of this village. According to ancient transcripts from the days of Shenandoah, that tower itself is actually a great weapon. Your task is to activate the tower and unleash the, its might on the barrier. What about the rumors of some sort of secret project that Senefaria's forces are working on to destroy the barrier? Having heard from my contact in Senefaria, I know what they're building. It won't work. That weapon needs to be put to better use. Our plan is the one that has the best chance of success. How do we activate the tower? I doubt we can just stroll up to it and ask it to power itself up for us. From what I can ascertain from those transcripts, you will need to find the three keys necessary to activate the tower. Got it. Find the three keys, activate the tower, and destroy the barrier. Sounds easy enough. Your sarcasm notwithstanding, I hope that you can accomplish exactly that. No problem. You can count on us, Shara. Here, take this with you. It's the least I can do. Thanks, Shara. Let's go, sisters. And you get a thousand s staring, and yes, in this chapter you play as the Dark Sisters of the Elements. Scintilla, um, Cylone, or, um, Alluvia, and um, Lymphana. So, let's look around a little. Okay, I'll also talk to her. I await your safe and victorious return. I knew there was something around here. We were in the village of Recaltra, which was not actually part of the first game, so this is uh, one of the areas that we're seeing for the first time in Episode 2. Elixir. Oh. This guy, where is he? Where are, this guy is Armageddon time, I'm telling you. Listen to this shit. I've never seen an elemental in the flesh before, especially that much flesh. Eyes up here, mister. Sorry, sorry, you've got me all fired up. No. I'd love to show you how my burning desire for you is... Words need to stop coming from your mouth right now. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Scintilla. Oh. My fucking puns. There's a medial potion there. Shara is a very wise and powerful leader of our village. Not much is known about her even after all these years, though, as she tends to keep to herself. There's an item shop here, and I will be taking advantage of that, since uh, Shara did give us a thousand starin. Check these here. Okay. If you, oh, yeah, you could participate. There's this mining minigame. I'm not going to do it until later, though. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's uh, focus on just getting a bunch of medial potions for now. And regular potions. Oh, heck. Is that Tanya? Give me a second here. That's James. Sorry about that, guys. Um, did it go to my phone? That would have been nice. No. Alright, well, they'll have to wait. Most folks that come here do some mining up in the mountains, and then a day or two later, they're packing up and heading back home. There's Fred Flintstone's pants. 
The Cora quakes around here can get pretty rough, even for homes with strong foundations. We often had to do, have to do repairs. And a cool thing is sometimes as you're walking around, the ground will shake. There's an ether there. You could also buy pickaxes from this guy. I'm not going to bother with that right now, because I'm not going to do the mining. I am going to do it, I'm just not going to do it right this moment. So, uh, let's get the heck out of here. So we're just going to head right up to Rytus Tower. Now, this is an area where you don't really need to fight all the enemies, but, um... You know, what the fuck, I'm doing an LP, I might as well fight the enemies. So here we have a uh, energy slime, two energy slimes, and a tainted harpy. And the Dark Sisters are kind of like on the ridiculously powerful side. Oh, I just realized that... Damn it. Scintilla's still hurt from uh, the battle with uh, the Abyssals. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, though. I'm just using the most basic attacks right now, so... As you can see, Scintilla's kind of ridiculously powerful. Guess you can't handle my fire. Who cares, I'll just melt it all anyway. There's a crystal right here, so there you go. So you might, might as well, actually I might as well just cut loose with all the best attacks since there's a crystal there. I don't defend, ah, oh, I keep doing that with the Dark Sisters because it's the first thing. So I hit him with Ignaza. Might as well, right? Feel the wrath of, gods, I'm my mother. My luck, it'll probably find a dirty shoe. And there's a great potion there. Some more energy slimes. Let's do Tidal Crash. Alright. Boom! There's a medial ether. Alright, yeah, let's, uh, let's hit the crystal before we move up. I'm actually also gonna save it. Oh! What? Where are my sisters? Great, just hell's freaking great. It had to be water, didn't it? Thanks, Athor, you really do hate me. Gotta be some kind of test. No problem, I'll get past it and find my sisters. So basically, water gives the spirit of life to lush greenery, and wind makes fire to spell the night. So kind of remember, like, water, greenery, wind, fire. So kind of think, you know, blue, green, yellow, red. And that's what we're looking for. So you got these Shinandoria symbols. There's the blue one. And she takes damage from the water, so... Green. Yellow. Red. Now since she's alone, I'm not looking to fight a whole bunch of monsters here, so... Alright, now let me make sure she's nice and healed. My medial potions here. Because we're about to fight a boss. No, no way, Moirena? Your test is not over yet, Scintilla. Alright, definitely, you know, cut loose a little here. You can only use that twice. Hopefully I can get her off a second time before she puts up her barrier thing. Nah, she just put up the barrier, okay. So it's going to be flame kick. One more. Not too worried about tidal crash. The thing is, you know, fighting the water monsters, you know, like obviously that's Scintilla's weakness. She's weak against water, so you got to keep that in mind. And that ends that. I guess you can't handle my fire. Toasted Abyssals, coming up. Okay. Well done. 
No, I am not the real Moirena, only a memory of her that was created from your mind. To claim this tower, you and your sisters are being tested to see if you are worthy. Worthy? Yes, worthy of wielding the most destructive force that the ancient culture of Shenandoah had ever known. You can bet your ass we're worthy. Now will you help a girl out so I can join up with my sisters? You've passed your test, so yes, I will take you to them, if they pass their own trials. You can count on that happening. We'll see. Alright, moving on up. Here we are with Lymphana. Holy mother... Can we say hot? What did I do to deserve this nightmare? No one else is here with me. Looks like I gotta get through this on my own. Okay. Alright, I gotta find the blue one, obviously. Medial ether. Okay, blue. Go for the green one. Oh. Now oh, the order might be slightly... Yeah. Blue, white, green... Yeah, they, 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 there's more this time. Blue, white, green. Um, yellow. Red. Alright, let me make sure she's all good to go. Especially since I do gotta walk through a bit of this. Pyre? Let's see if you can stand the heat of my fury, Lymphana. Okay, so let's uh, cut loose with some tidal crash. Very nice. Uh, hit her again. Ugh, oh, damn it. Come on, come on, come on! Alright, we're good. Amplify. This should do it. Oh! Damn it! Oh, I'm probably not gonna survive this next to Ignis. That's not too bad. Alright. Oh, that was too- fuck. Free for your world will exist no more. Alright, so that's my bad. I'm sorry about that, guys. We, that's a good thing that I had just saved it. I should make a point of fighting, uh, saving before those things, because those are- those are- can be kind of tough, because they're one-on-one -on -one battles. Alright. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. We already saw it. Okay, so... So, blue. Ah, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, did I just use Ignaza like an idiot? Ah, shit. Well, she leveled. At least there's that. Green. There's a V1 root there. Yellow. Red. Alright, I might as well just, um, use my elixir then. And I'll just save it here just in case things go badly. That was my bad. See, sometimes even the developers can fuck up. Alright, so, Ignaza. It's unfortunate that I'll only probably get one shot of that. Elemental strike. That suck. Yeah. Like kick. Hooah! Yo! Tidal crash. And this will end that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, so let's try this again, huh? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, so blue. White. Green. Yellow. Red. 
Unfortunately, standing still doesn't protect you either. So I gotta be quick about saving here. Because even just standing on a damaged floor as the Dark Sisters will continually drain your hit points. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry about this, guys. Sorry about that. Pyre? Oh, yeah, I already read that. Okay, we don't need to read that again. Alright, so title crash. Ignis. And Inferno. Man, she certainly pours on the fucking damage. Let me just use a great potion here. Okay, Venom, that's not so bad. I mean, it sucked that it worked, but... Metal Crash. I can't do it again, so... Ooh, getting lucky, she's seeing Venom again. Right, occupy. One more shot. Wow, spamming Venom much? Good night. All right. And I get an elixir. You did very well, Lymphana. What in the name of Salona is going on? I know you're not the real Pyre, so just who or what are you? I was your test. I am but a memory given form in order to, to challenge you and see if you were truly worthy. What about my sisters? Are they all being giving tests like this as well? They are. Each of them must face their inherent weakness and overcome it, just as you have. I see. Can you take me to them? I can take you to your sister, Scintilla. She has just now bested her own test. Alright, let's go then. Moving on up. No, no, we're not doing this. Weird place with strange flowing dirt and all greenery. This is a place for Alluvia, not for me. Oh, I hate being alone. Alright, so let's see. Um, blue... White. Green. Treasure chest here, too. Ambrosia. Oh, okay, now. Um, yellow. Okay, apparently not. Black is at the end, I think, actually. Alright. Is it a great potion? Red. Black. Okay. And I will use one of those medial potions. So actually, two of them. And I will save it, just in case. Because these one-on-one -on -one battles, they can be a little dicey, depending on what the Dark Sisters feel like using, you know? Terra? No way, you're dead! I may not be the actual Terra, but why don't you join her in death? All right, now, um, Whirlwind is, it, it doesn't attack, but it raises your attack, your defense, your agility, magic attack, and magic defense, and it halves lightning and stone damage, which is what she's going to use. So I'm definitely going to go into that. And now, what's um, great is I can just, like, take very little damage, and I can go ahead and medial ether myself so I can use the good attacks. Or you could just wear her down with a very simple, um, you know, piercing gale. But I'm going to use Twister. At least once. Eh, not worth it to do that again. Just a piercing gale. Oh, Tanya's favorite vines. Ah, that didn't work. Might of Korra. See, that would normally really wreck me, but I'm taking half damage from stone, so. Alright, one more. Apparently you don't like tornadoes. I get it all before it blows away. Alright, I want some answers now. You have passed your test, Cylon. Well done. 
A test? That's what this was all about? It's about you earning the secrets of this tower, Cylon. Such a thing cannot be given to just anyone. I guess an a that's an answer. Can you take me to my sisters now? I can. Your sisters, Scintilla and Lymphana, have proven themselves worthy already. I have not a doubt that Alluvia will too. Let's go. Alright. What am I- Ah! That wind could be deadly. Whatever I do, I better do it quickly and get the hell out of here. Alright. Ooh. Okay. Why don't you start with- Oh no, we start with blue. Alright, great potion. Gotta find the blue one. There it is. Feeling root. Blue. Quick and scroll, which is a great item. White. Garrett and feather. Oh! Got a fight! She's rock toss. Vespus. Really? Okay. Whatever, bro. Sting in the tail. Oh, you know, you you guys can just, like, suck my fucking tree stump, alright? Thank you. Jesus Christ. One more. I'm gonna get killed here. I just know it, yeah. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to hit points, and... I just looked at them and I'm like, hmm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna die. Ugh. Look at how hard Rider's Tower can be. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I gotta fight her again. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least I know this one's easy, and I wouldn't even bother using the ether this time, because that was like a waste of time. Oh, Tanya, you and your vines. Lowering my magic defense, and that was the whole point of doing that. I still have elemental defense, though. Alright, you can do that twice in a row, that's fine. You're not actually doing any damage when you do that, you know. It's Might of Korra. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's try this again, this time with less fail. Ah, come on. Ah. Garret and Feather. Okay. Oh! Damn it! Son of a whore basket! No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. Okay. Damn bees. Pesky bee! Where's the damn blue one? This is driving me quick and scroll. Oh, there it is. Okay. Blue. Feeling room. Wait, I gotta hit white. Which is right there. There we go. White. Um, now green. Green. Yellow. Red. Black. And that's it. And there's a Sokopia there. Let me go and heal myself. And I will also save it. This is the last of the one-on-one -on -one battles, and I'm going to end the video after this, so... It's already been going on a while. A manifestation of Tempest? I take it you're the source of all this, then? You're being challenged to determine your worth, Alluvia. May your test truly begin. Oh, 
All right, well, let's hit you with Mitocora. I only get to do it once anyway, so... And she goes into that. Now, she's going to take not so much damage from stone anyway when she's like that, so you might as well use the weaker attack. Piercing Gale! Gale again. Home's dying. Everything's fucked up. Twist. <coughs> I'm not going to take any chances here. One more good one, unless she goes into her tornado form. Nope, I got it. Bye-bye. Korra is exacting vengeance through me. Okay. You have exceeded even our expectations. Return me to my sisters at once. I don't have time for this foolishness when the fate of every living thing is at stake. Very well, I will take you to your sisters, Luvia. Aluvia, it's about damn time. I was starting to worry about you. I had an interesting time of it, to be sure. We'll talk about our ordeals later, though. Right. We've got to use the, th the three keys and activate this tower. Speaking of the keys, we found two of them on this floor, and we think there's one more up the stairs. Let's do this and get back to Shara. All right, but I am going to stop here. I will see you guys soon with more Chronicles of Dark Lord. Episode 2, War of the Abyss.